Wix blog tutorial how to create a blog on Wix. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'll be showing you guys step by step how you can create your own blog on Wix. Now Wix is popularly known as a website creation tool. I've created this website but with any Wix website you can upgrade it into a blog as well. Or if you want, you can create a new site that is dedicated to your blog. So I'll be showing you guys both of these things. We're going to first uh, just gloss over how you can convert your existing website into a blog. And then secondarily, I'll just show you guys how you can create a new blog. So let's get started. Now, if you already have a site, you can just click on edit site over here and you're going to open up the Wix website editor. Once you open up the Wix website editor, you can proceed on to the next step, which is to add the blog functionality. Now, the great part about creating a blog with Wix is that Wix has its own application that allows you to create amazing blogs. So all you have to do is you're going to click on this icon which is the add apps icon on the left panel. And then this will open up the Wix app market. Just search for blog over here. And once you search for blog, you will see the first application that is going to pop up is called Wix blog. So just click on this application and then click on add to site. Once you do that, you're just going to confirm that and Wix blog is now going to be added. Now we're going to get started from scratch on how to build our blog. So uh, this is just going to add Wix blog. All the default pages will be created and you can go back in your dashboard to, um, you know, start posting blogs. Now we're going to actually create a new site, which is going to be dedicated to our blog. So let's get started. Now I am going to start the chat and I'm just going to write what my blog is about. So it's a fashion blog. And then it's going to ask a couple of different questions. You can end the chat and continue with a template. It just really depends on your personal preference. You can answer these questions or skip them. It doesn't make that big of a difference at the end. So I usually just skip most of these questions. So over here, you're going to enter the name of your site. My site name is going to be Lily's. And then the purpose of my website is to just um, build a community. Then I'm just going to click on next and you're going to add applications. So you will see it's recommending that I add Wix blog. I'm going to skip this step because I want to show you guys how to do that by yourselves. So we're going to head on over into our Wix website and you're going to click on design site over here. Once you do that, you're going to generate a design with AI or customize a template. We're going to proceed with AI generation and I'll just show you guys how AI can generate a nice, you know, template for you. So we're generating lilies, you, your blog site. Once the site is ready, you can click on anything you want to change in the brief to adjust the content and design. So it might take a little while because it is generating, you know, an entire wireframe and all. So the site profile, site structure, its content, your site description, theme, layout, and more. So this is the site brief as of now. And if you make any changes to the brief later on, they would be applied throughout the website design. So you don't have to, you know, drag and drop everything. And now with these AI tools, you have the ability to make some smart changes into web designs. So let's just wait for this to be completed. And I think it has almost been completed. So yeah, I can see it has designed my basic structure. It looks really nice. And I think it's something that I like. Obviously it does need some customization. So we're going to click on continue with design. And after that, you can complete your design with your own domain. I'm just going to continue to the Wix website editor so that we can begin editing our blog on Wix. Now, it might have added the blog application by default. You're going to follow the same steps as we previously did. Yeah, it has added the blog application. So you're going to follow the previous steps as we did to add your blog. Just go into the add apps and then click on add blog to add your blogs. 
Now, once you do that, you guys can see it says, Welcome to Lily's latest post. And then we have About Lily, Follow Me, and then Lily's. Now, this definitely looks a bit off. So, first off, I'm going to increase the size of my header a little. I'm going to move the logo a bit towards the right. I'm going to click on Edit Text and I'm increasing the font size and I'm converting it to a header 5. Now, after I have done that, I'm just going to resize the strip a little. And then we have the Wix site search and I'm going to place it to the right side instead. Then we have a read more section. Then on the top right, we have a Hamburg menu. I don't like those, so I'm just going to delete that over here. And I'm going to delete this column as well, like so. So I'm just going to keep the Wix site search and I'm going to resize it like this and place it over here. And then I'll place the Lily's logo over here. Then I will click on add elements on the left and you're going to choose menu and anchor and you can choose the type of menu you want so i have this menu added and i'm going to drag it over here to create your menu pages you can just click on manage menu and you can click on add menu items you can even click on navigate to see all of your pages on the left now i can begin designing my site so firstly i don't like this block over here and i'm going to move the image over here and then move this image into the center. Now I want to change this text. So this is definitely a bit too large. I'm going to remove the animation on this. And for some reason, it's not giving me options to customize our design like so, because you know, it's present in this particular design element. I think it's a bit too large. So I'm just gonna remove it altogether move this to the top, click on add elements, click on text, add a heading, and then we're going to write welcome to my blog. And then I can just place this over here. Once I do that, I can choose to display any other creative elements. So I can click on elements, go into strip, and then we're going to add a couple of lines at the bottom. So I'm just going to place this over here. And then I'm just going to drag this across, click on change design, and we have multiple different types of designs. And I can just do command C and then command V twice over here. So we're just going to add that here. And once we do that, we're just going to proceed on to our next section. I have a latest post section and then an about Lily section. So to replace the image, just click on delete and click on add elements on the left and then click on image. From here, you can upload images and make the rest of your website changes. Click on save on the top right to save your changes till this point. And then now you can click on go to dashboard to go back into your Wix dashboard. From here, you can actually start writing blogs. So you will see a section called blogs on the left. Firstly, you're going to go into blogs and you're going to add your basic three categories of either writers, tags, and categories. So you might have certain niches that you are targeting. So within fashion, let's say I have two categories, either it's, you know, categorized as a makeup related article or a skincare related article or a styling related query. So I'm going to click on another and then let's say this is going to be related to styling so on and so forth you can create categories and add different tags and writers in the same way once you do that go back into posts under blog and click on create new post and you can start writing your blogs on wix so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe